La Niña's bring a wetter and often cooler spring to the eastern and southeastern part of Australia. But what does that mean for tropical cyclones? For tropical cyclones in the La Niña year, we tend to see more activity on the east coast of Australia, so we're likely to see potentially more landfall in tropical cyclones, bringing rain and wind. La Niña is a extreme end of an ocean temperature oscillation in the Pacific Ocean. So in a La Niña event, those warm ocean temperatures are actually pushed up onto the Australian east coast and also the east coast of Southeast Asia. So if those warm ocean temperatures move closer to the Australian coast, then that's actually going to drive activity in terms of tropical cyclones. So they're going to form closer to the Australian coast and they're also going to form more strongly, if you like, because of that additional thunderstorm activity that's being driven as well. As the climate warms, the impacts of those individual cyclones could be more extreme. They are likely to be rainier. It's possible that we will see them move further inland before they fall apart because they will be better supported by a warmer environment. Tropical cyclones come with something called a storm surge when they make landfall, and that is where the ocean is driven in waves onto land by the, the sheer force of the winds of a tropical cyclone. Because ocean sea heights are getting higher, that means for the same storm surge you can see a, a greater impact on land, particularly down the east coast of Australia where we've got so much coastal population.